not that we haven't thought about this. <laughs> in fact, um, we began to seriously think about this, we, my wife and I, uh, about five years ago when we set our website up. Our website is a target, <laughs> as you well know. <laughs> Websites, people, they contact you and they give you their opinion. And if this was as crazy an idea as it starts out to sound like, but doesn't end up sounding like, then what if it was a truly crazy idea? Then I wouldn't be sitting here right now. And, and I'm going to tell you that I've, if I could share all my email with you, you would see, and they don't just come from, you know, do-gooders and tree-huggers and fuzzy type people. These are from the head of Arup, who says, not just possible, we must do this. We must do this, okay? So they never say can't do. That's the company that never says can't do, all right? <clears throat> what would it take to do it? Well, after that, we just, that's what we asked. We weren't saying, should we do it? We were saying, how should we do it? That's a much different question. So that's the question you've asked, and so I'll try to give you the answer. The fact is, we haven't done one yet, but we have a plan on how to do it. A, you need some money. You need lots of money. How much? Uh, if I had, I would give you a conservative estimate of 50 to $60 million. I could build you a prototype with all the personnel that I now have as willing participants the moment that money shows up. They will be there. Those are architects, engineers, designers, planners, politicians, funders, agronomists. And I, I, when I say, I'm using the plurals here. These are not single entities. These are like the University of Arizona Controlled Indoor Farming Group, which is huge. Uh, NASA, um, Arup, um, Philip Johnson Architects, uh, Kiss and Cathcart Architects, um, Steelcase as a builder. Um, these are huge people in terms of their impact on the world already and on their desire to make things ecologically sound and profitable. Okay, so with, with $60 million, what I will do is I will enlist their talents together as a team and I will build a building which will be some five to six stories tall and maybe an eighth of a city block in footprint and inside of which it will become the laboratory for how to do this, okay? Because, in essence, we don't know how to do this yet, but, but we will include into it all the engineering schemes for capturing energy passively, for, for taking waste and creating energy from that, to making sure that our plants are not contaminated with pathogens, to make sure that their diets include all of our micronutrients, but not any heavy metals or pesticides or herbicides. All of that is doable stuff. That's an easy deal. I mean... For 27 years, I was a laboratory-based scientist, and I, I know how to do this part. This is the easy part, all right? The hard part is to find the $60 million. Well, that seemed like a hard thing to do two years ago. Um, we have four, four groups now that all want to do this with us. They want us to develop the master plan to how to proceed, and they're willing to pay a very nice sum of money for a few of us to sit down and plan out how to proceed. Now, the procedure requires a scaled model first to make sure of what you're going to do, and then a prototype building, which functions exactly like the scale-up building that you're planning to build. And so all of the nuance of handling this crop or that crop or the other crop, uh, by the way, wherever you put this, it will vary, of course. If you put it in Incheon, Korea, which is one of the places that wants this, uh, the crop selection will be totally different than in um, the southern part of India, which is another place that wants this, or, or perhaps in Darfur. You would, you would want to produce as much energetic food. Forget about the variety. You want it balanced, and you want these little kids to survive, and you want their mothers and fathers to survive as well, if they're still alive, of course. Uh, you're using this as an intervention strategy. You're not giving them food. You're teaching them how to raise food themselves, but you're subsidizing it through the World Bank and through WHO and through the United Nations. So that's my dream of, of how this could move from, let's say, a place like Abu Dhabi, which also wants this, and they've got tons of money. They don't even care how much it costs, and they don't even care about the profitability. What they want is fresh produce. They can't get fresh produce because why? Even if it's flown in the same day, that's not fresh enough. They want to produce it on site. That's fine. Let's do that then. So you, you need to make a twin project someplace. 
Abu Dhabi has one, then so does South Bronx. So does Darfur. So does, so does Niger. So does Chad. So does Mali. That, that's, that's really the, the crux of where I'm from. Um, sure, I'm the point person for this project and everything, but, but I, I already know who wants them.